Oh, didn't see you there. <laughs> Let's get cooking. Welcome back everybody to Let's Get Cooking Hurricane Edition. Hurricane Dorian is knocking at the door of the Florida East Coast and we are all preparing. I hope everybody out there is safe, has plenty of water, foods, and gas. If you don't have those things, please, I urge you to go out and get those things. For this week, we're gonna be doing something a little different. First breakfast food that we do, it's gonna be easy, simple, delicious, something you can do every day at your house if you wanted to. I don't recommend it because it's bacon and you probably shouldn't eat bacon every day. All right guys, so for the breakfast sandwich, real simple. Use a bread of your choice. I like potato bread, but since everybody went to Publix and bought all my potato bread, I settled for onion bread. I have no idea what it tastes like, but it looks pretty good and smells pretty good. So we're gonna use onion bread today. We're gonna use an egg and bacon as our base for the sandwich. And then we put a little bit of vegetables on it to just add some freshness. We got lettuce, tomatoes, onion, and avocado. If you like cheese, I personally like the processed yellow cheese. Using Kraft Singles is the perfect cheese for this sandwich, but feel free to experiment with the cheeses. But let's get started. So you get two, three pieces of bacon. If you like bacon like I do, I just opt for the extra bacon. Because what's gonna happen is, as you cook it and it comes off, you're gonna eat a piece of bacon. It's just natural, it's instinct. So do that, put an extra bacon with that in mind. I like to get a paper towel, and I like to put my bacon right over the top just for all that excess oil to drain out onto it. Ooh, baby, this bacon look good. So next thing we do, we're gonna save the bacon grease. The options here are very simple. I like to save my bacon grease. Why? To cook my egg. Delicious, why not? And then, at the end, I like to get my bread, a little bit of greasy grease still in the pan, and just right onto the pan, and it actually just, it's just delicious. So if you don't want to use the bacon grease, you can use Pam. Another alternative is butter. So really simply, I just put my little bit of bacon grease. Ooh. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and crack. I'm gonna put it in the edge of my pan here. And there is a beautiful bacon grease egg. Now we do the same thing. Just apply a very smooth amount. So with your bacon grease in the pan, just gonna get your bread. So let them just get it, let it get to know the grease a little bit. Boom, it doesn't have to be on a super high heat, just make sure you're watching it. While that's going, you get the avocado, you're just gonna right down the middle, boom, open. That's a beautiful avocado. Hold on my breads, that's toasty for me. So is that, look at that toast, guys. The avocado, you're just gonna go right into the pit, turn it, and there you go. Easy way to cut up your avocados. I'm gonna cut my avocado right in the middle. And then I'm gonna grab the skin and you can just peel it right off. And then you're just gonna grab your avocado and you're just gonna make some thin slices. Don't be a big dum dum like me. If you're gonna use cheese like I said I was, you can put it at the end, flip it, and put the cheese right over it and let it get nice and hot. I didn't do that. We're eating cold cheese. To put the sandwich together, you're gonna need your buns, you're gonna need some mayonnaise. You can put mayonnaise on both sides of your buns. I like to do mayonnaise on the bottom bun and a little bit on the top bun. So but manage your buns. I almost said buddy your buns. Don't buddy your buns. Manage your buns. We're going to put egg with the cheese, our bacon strips. We're going to put a little bit of our iceberg lettuce, tomatoes, onions, avocados. And just over that, we're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and close it up. <laughs> So this is the sandwich. Let's give it a taste. As you can see, the egg is nice and runny. It looks delicious. Let's give it a taste. I really like the onion bread. Potato bread is still number one, but onion bread is a win. That sandwich is perfect. For any breakfast, that is the perfect sandwich. You get your eggs, you get your bacon, you get your vegetables. It's a well-balanced breakfast. And it's a perfect to-go sandwich. If you gotta go, whoop, put this in a napkin and out the door. If you enjoyed this video, Please go ahead and drop a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to see all of my newest content as it comes out. I want to thank everybody for being here again. And until next time. Is the yeah. Weast. Weast. Wombo. Arhan James. Megan! Have you ever woken up in the morning, turn your George Foreman grill on just to make bacon? <laughs> and then put yourself back to sleep so you can wake up to the smell of bacon in the morning?
Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? I feel it! Yeah! Oh yeah! Boo! 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 You can. Would I recommend it? No. Stay! <laughs>